Good morning, No Excuses Scholars. It's Terrific Tuesday, January 11th, 2022. And again, every, each and every one of you are rebounding with resilience and courage every day just coming to, coming to school. Our college vocabulary word is bachelor's degree. Yep, try and say it, bachelor's degree. It is a certificate of completion uh, for a four-year degree at a college or university. And we talked about this yesterday, a BA would be Bachelor's of Arts. We'll talk about that um, later this week. And Bachelor's of Science, which would be BS. And then uh, you can see a little picture of an example of one, but take a look around in your room. Some of your teachers, they have their certificates up in class. So, and if they don't, ask your teacher, what, what do you have? Do you have a Bachelor's of Art? Do you have a Bachelor's of Science? And let them explain that to you. So that's our college vocabulary word, bachelor's degree. Hey, character counts every day, even when we're not watching you. And uh, we, we know there's lots of times that we're not exactly seeing you, but we do see you quite a bit walking around a campus or in, even in class. And being a terrific person is the expectation. And you can do it. We know you can. You've been showing it all along. And speaking of terrific, yeah, we have a terrific hero husky. We have Jonathan in Mrs. Denman's class. Uh, last week, he came to me with a little note saying he had over 200 Lexia minutes. Wow, and he got a little prize for that. So Jonathan, nice job. Way to be a leader. Way to be a terrific hero husky. Love it. And speaking of being a terrific hero husky, safety. Wear your mask indoors 100% of the time. I know we've been saying this all year long. It sounds like it's just, yep, yep, yep. Please, please, please follow along, okay? No exceptions. And as soon as you're done eating, put it on. And at lunchtime, you'll be sitting with your classmates in the same table. And again, thank you for being patient. Sometimes it takes a little bit to get everybody seated, but it's been going a lot faster because everybody knows what to do. So good job. Hey, we were brought this up yesterday, the Husky 100 Mile Club Challenge. For every four laps you run, um, you can get one entry for a raffle prize. And again, raffle prizes are pretty cool. You're going to want this. And so you can see this little paper. It says 100, Husky 100 Mile Club. Put your name, the teacher's name, and the grade. And it's all good. And you want to get as many of those as you can. Now, a scholar came up to me today or yesterday and asked, is there still time to sign up? Can I sign up? And yes, you can sign up to be part of the 100 mile club. And even if you don't get all 100 miles, hey, let's, there's 25, there's 50, there's 75, there's some um, awards that come with that. So you can go to room 34 and see Mrs. Salazar or ask your teacher. And teachers just wanna let you know, there should be some um, in the office by the boxes and there should be, should be some extras just sitting around there. If you can't find them, Come ask me or ask Mrs. Salazar. So, and we'll be running out there on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. So hopefully today you had a chance to go out there and run um, if it wasn't too cold or rainy. But uh, yes, you can still sign up. Try and catch me. I got my hundred. Hey, the spelling bee, like we said, has been postponed. Our current date, tentative date, is Tuesday. January 18th. So we have this week and then next Monday, believe it or not, we have a day off. Yeah, we get Monday, next Monday off. And then the 18th, that Tuesday, we'll plan to go ahead and have the spelling bee. So those of you who are competing, keep practicing. Well, how about lunchtime? Today for lunch, we're having deli grinders, Doritos chips, yum. Celery sticks with ranch and a fresh pear. Yum, yum, yum. It is time for our Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand up and put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Well, it's time for the joke of the day. Another one I found is, here's the question. 
why did the broom decide to go to bed? Hmm, why would a broom want to just go to bed? They're tired, I don't know. I guess that's why we all go to bed, right? Because it's just tired? Hmm, what do you think? What do you think is the answer? Any ideas, any guesses? Here we go. Why did the broom decide to go to bed? It was very sweepy. Oh, sweepy. Yay, sweepy. All right, keep sending me jokes. And again, uh, please either write on a piece of paper your name and the, your teacher, and or you can email it to me. And again, I, pro I can't use everybody's, but I'll try to use as many as I can. So keep sending those jokes. And scholars, never stop learning because life never stops teaching. Happy Tuesday. Happy terrific Tuesday.